Hey everyone, Trading Aloha here. And this week, I want to do something a little different and cover the Merit Circle DAO and what they're doing with the Beam subnet to help bring more gamers into the Avalanche ecosystem. If you're not familiar with Merit Circle, Merit Circle is a decentralized autonomous organization that focuses has been increasing accessibility and participation in the gaming industry by providing educational opportunities and scholarships to people around the world, such as when they did it with Axie. In addition, they have profit sharing with the scholars, they grow their treasury by holding various assets, mostly game-related NFTs, also an early stage financial investor, and a lot of the play to earn games. Merit Circle's token is used to govern the Merit Circle DAO as serves as an index for the whole PE industry. If you jump over to the website at MeritCircle.io, you can see there's four main ways that Merit Circle DAO is continuing to build. First is through their investments. Second is through the studio, which helps publish creative projects and actively develop and incubate new projects. Gaming, which is rewarding the community and gamers that you're going to see a lot of. And then the infrastructure, which is mainly the Beam subnet that they're deploying on Avalanche that they're already bringing games to, and it continues to develop week over week. Last year, Merit Circle announced the upcoming launch of Sphere, which was supposed to be a state-of-the-art NFT marketplace that was centered on gaming. However, due to the bear market and a series of bad industry issues, the launch of Sphere was put on hold, waiting for the right moment to capture. In the interim, Merit Circle kept the conversations going with various game developers because they were eager to take the plunge into the Web3 world. The developers loved the Sphere concept, but they needed something to solve a solution for one major question of which blockchain would they even use. It was a gap that Merit Circle identified, and to fill it, they decided to create Beam and launch the subnet on Avalanche. If you jump over to the Merit Circle Medium, they do a great job of explaining everything that's going on in the ecosystem, what they have to come, and what Beam is going to do as far as helping out gamers, the community, and game developers alike. And really it boils down to taking advantage of everything the Avalanche subnets have to offer with scalability and security, but also adds the empowerment of the Merit Circle DAO, which will bring an already robust community of enthusiasts, developers, and investors to ensure that there's both a confident and utility-filled launch with tons of games when it goes live. One of the great things about Merit Circle is when we talk about a lot of games being available on launch, there's already games that you can play and test out right now. If you jump over to the Merit Circle Gamers page, you can keep track of everything that's going on within the ecosystem. You can see which games are popular. You can see which games are currently live. You can even go and scroll to the bottom. You can see early access where you can click on these and make sure you get more info, sign up for when they're available for early access. And then you can jump in and play right away as soon as they're available. And you can provide valuable feedback that they're going to take to help make the games even better for when they're ready for full release. And when we talk about games that are available on launch, I think it's important to highlight the quality of games that are going to be available on Beam. The first one being Trial Extreme, which is a racing game that has over 250 million downloads worldwide, and that's going to have its home on Beam. You've got Walker World, which is a massive open world experience that offers players and creators a chance to build on their own land and experience an interoperable universe. And then you've got games like Rainy The Lords of Light, which is a card battling game that recently announced that they're moving on to the Beam subnet. And they also just launched on the Epic Game Store, which I think is a huge step forward to have a game that's on the Epic Game Store that Web2 gamers are comfortable using and downloading and playing are going to get to experience quality level games uh, that look good and don't have glitches and that they play well and they're fun and that's going to be housed on beam as well so they're taking it very seriously investing in games that that have the potential to change the way we look at web3 gaming and hopefully just becomes gaming and it's going to be housed on beam Another thing that I think is important that within Beam, there'll also be an automated market maker, which will allow players to seamlessly swap between tokens of their favorite projects and games they're playing, as well as its own USDC Merit Circle Pool, which is their gas token, MC. So it allows players to basically take advantage of swaps within the subnet and not have to worry about bridging on or off. They can keep everything on the Beam subnet and just enjoy the games that they want to play without having to do any extra steps, which I think is important to mention because as we move forward in the gaming industry, the less a player has to do on the outside, the better. So it should be a seamless experience. There shouldn't be any worry about swaps or wallets or any of that. So I think this is a step forward that Merit Circle is taking to make sure that Beam is one of those that leads the way in that innovation. There's a lot we could talk about when it comes to Merit Circle, when it comes to Beam, but overall, it really is just an incredibly promising future when we talk about the inception of Beam on Avalanche under the guidance of Merit Circle. It's safe to say that we're on the brink of a new era and an era where ownership and creativity are going to be rewarded and where players and developers can come together in a decentralized world and just make it the standard fun to play games with a seamless experience that we all expect gaming to be. If you haven't already, jump over to their Twitter. You can follow Merit Circle uh, and you can follow Beam Subnet for all the updates. Jump in their Discord and also follow us and over on our YouTube channel. Give us a like and a subscribe and we'll keep pushing out all the updates when it comes to Beam, Merit Circle and all the games they have to come. Till next time.